Hello, today I'm going to show you how to create this hat. Let's open a new document. I'm going to use a sketch of a hat I drew beforehand. If you would like to use the same drawing as mine, feel free to download this file. I've included a link to it in the description. After you download the file, go to File, Place, find the downloaded image and click Place. Single click on this corner and the image should fit into this document. Next go to Layers. If your panel is not showing, go to Window and choose Layers. Double click on this layer and make sure the Dim Images to option is checked. Let's change the value to 30% and click OK. Next, lock this layer and create a new layer. Leave the stroke black and change the fill to a different color. Now choose one of the drawing tools that you are comfortable with. I'm going to use the Curvature tool. To learn more about this tool and how to use it, please check out my previous tutorial. I've included a link to it in the description. Let's create our first shape. Single click somewhere here. Place next anchor point in the middle. Now double click on this intersection to get a sharp corner. Next, click in the center of this segment, down here, add a few anchor points around this corner, next one here. Now double click to get a sharp corner, add one anchor point here, another one here, double click here, and double click at the first anchor point to get a sharp corner. If you wish, click on the path to add extra anchor points and move the points to adjust the shape. Let's open layer 2. I'm going to change the stroke's weight to 5 points. Lock this layer and turn off its visibility. Next, select a different color and we'll create another shape. Let's make a bend. And like we did before, lock this layer and turn off its visibility. Pick another color and create a brim. Lock this layer, turn it off and pick another color. Let's create this shadow shape. Adjust the anchor points if needed. Lock this layer and turn off its visibility. Next, create a new layer and lock layer 2. Now we'll make a buckle. Open the swatches window and choose yellow. Here are the colors I will be using today. Now trace this buckle shape. And then go to Object, Path and choose Offset Path. Set the offset to about negative 22 and click OK. Next, click on the stroke, hold and drag it to the fill to get the same color. Let's open the sublayers of layer 3. Select the yellow shape and double click on this shape to isolate it. Next, we'll add highlights and shadow to the fill. First go to Object and choose Expand. Make sure the fill and the stroke are checked and then click OK. Open the sublayers of this group. Select the yellow shape layer 
and lock the stroke layer. Now double click on it to isolate it. Select the curvature tool or any drawing tool you've been using and create a shape that will overlap the left side of this rectangle. Now create a shape that will overlap the right side. Select everything, open the Shape Builder tool and create three shapes. First, press and hold down the ALT key to get the minus symbol next to the cursor and click on this part to delete it. And delete this one as well. Now click on each remaining shape. To exit this mode, either click on this arrow several times or press the ESCAPE key on your keyboard. Click away to deselect. Next, select the shape on the right and then open the color window. Click on the three bars at the top right corner and choose HSB. Now adjust the brightness. Select the shape on the left and adjust the saturation. Let's lock layer 3 and turn it off. Next, unlock the sublayers of layer 2 and turn them back on. Let's switch to the direct selection tool and move this anchor point down. Now select everything, go to the Shape Builder tool, select black for the fill and connect these shapes together. Select the lighter grey and apply to the top shape. And these shapes as well. Select dark grey and apply to the bottom shape. Choose black again and apply to the shadow shape. Now press and hold down the ALT key and delete the unwanted shapes. Let's turn on layer 3. Lock layer 2 and create one more layer. Get rid of the fill and make sure the stroke is on top. Next, select a drawing tool of your choice and we will add an extra touch. Let's draw a curvy line to create a crease. And let's add a few more. Finally, turn off the sketch layer. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.